This lecture was organized by Farouk Alemi. Tree diagrams are a tool to organize outcomes and possibilities around the structure of the data. They are most useful when two or more processors occur in a sequence and each process is conditioned on its predecessor. The tree is drawn from left to right. A small circle indicates a probabilistic event. Two or more branches indicate the presence or absence of the event. The tree depicts the sequence of events by showing the outcomes of the first and second events, the first or and subsequent events. The probability of various events are shown on top of the branches. Here P shows the probability of event 1 or event A occurring. If there are only two outcomes possible, the probability of the event not occurring is not shown and can be calculated as 1 minus P of A. Subsequent events are conditioned on the preceding events. Thus the probability of the second event occurring is shown here as the conditional probability of the second event given the first event. This is the conditional probability of B given probability of A. The terminal points of the tree show the joint events. Notice that across all paths all possible combinations of joint events are present. The probability of the joint events are calculated as the product of probabilities on the path leading to the joint event. For example, probability of both A and B occurring is calculated as the product of the probability of A times the conditional probability of B given A. If we want to draw a tree diagram for a smallpox inoculation, we start with the first event in this case whether the patient was inoculated. The probability of inoculation is 0 0.0392. The probability of not being inoculated, not shown here, is 1 minus 0 0.0392. The second event is whether the patient lived or died as a consequence of inoculation. For patients who were inoculated, the conditional probability of living is 0.9754. For patients who were not inoculated, the conditional probability of living is 0.8589. A tree diagram allows us to calculate the joint probability of two events as the product of the probabilities in the path of the event. Note that each path shows a distinct combination of events. Here, the probability of inoculation and living is the product of 0 0.0392 and 0.9754. In tree diagrams, the probability of an event occurring can be calculated from the sum of all possible ways that the event might occur. Here, the probability of event B occurring can be cal calculated from the joint events A and B occurring and not A and B occurring. If we want to know what percent of the population lived, we need to add all ways in which patients lived, highlighted here in yellow. This is guaranteed by the fact that the events depicted are mutually exclusive. Sometimes we do not know the probability of an event and want to deduce it from its consequences. In essence, we want to deduce the presence of a possible causal event by the effect we see. The prevalence of the effect among the cause is known and from this data we can infer how likely it is that the causal event has occurred. The base formula follows our previous definition of probability. 
a condition reduces the possible events, then a conditional probability is the prevalence of the event in this reduced space of possibilities. Note that Bayes' formula allows us to go from data on consequences of an event to infer the presence of an event. The tree diagram can be used to calculate the Bayes' theorem. The top part of the equation is the path where both the effect and the event co-occur. The bottom part is all paths where the effect occur. Let's see if we can calculate the probability of inoculation given that we see the patient is alive. The top part is replaced with the probability of being alive and inoculated. The bottom part is replaced with all ways in which the patient lives. Bayes' theorem is just a generalization of what we have done using tree diagrams. The numerator identifies the probability of getting both event and its effects. The denominator is the marginal probability of getting the effect. This bottom component of the fraction appears long and complicated with the summation sign since we have to add up probabilities from all of the different ways to get the effect. We always completed this step when using tree diagrams. However, we usually did it in a separate step so it didn't seem as complex. The take-home lesson is simple. Tree diagrams or Bayes' theorem allow us to predict an event from its consequences. See if you can answer this question.